Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another Yakuza 3 Remastered Let's Play episode. Now on episode 2, um, last we left off, um, we got a little bit of a glimpse of what's going to be going on into the game. Something about selling the land Kiryu is currently living on with that orphanage in Okinawa. Uh, Kazuma's alive. Uh, then after we got that, we backed up uh, to essentially right where we left off with Yakuza 3. Um, giving a bit more backstory on that end of like what's kind of like happened what was happening in between um Sayur I can't remember her name Sayama Sayuri I don't remember um she's going to the US for some special training we're just about to go to the move to Okinawa um Oh, excuse me. Uh, we were saying goodbye. We said goodbye to Yuya. Said goodbye to um, Kazuki. And then we finished off the episode with fighting um, Ajima. So that way he would actually agree to go back with the Tojo clan. So that way he can actually watch over Daigo in our stead since... We're gonna be in Okinawa with a bunch of kids. And that's where we left off. This is literally the same screen at the end of the last episode. I haven't even saved yet. Good thing the computer didn't just go <laughs> off. Uh, so anyways, if you are excited to see what's going on moving forward, consider leaving me a like and um, comment what you're feeling so far going into this. Or you can comment at the end. I'm not going to tell you either way. Just whatever you do helps me out a lot. Uh, so let's just go ahead and save. And move on to Chapter 2. The Ryodu Encounter. So is this going to go jump back to 2009? Six months later, summer of 2007. He's so intent. He's trying not to cry from cutting the onions. Uncle Kaz, I thought curry was supposed to be easy. I'm trying to focus here. Don't interrupt me. Wait, that's what I have to tell you, Taichi. Can't bother him while he's cooking. Come on, let's go play outside till dinner's ready. Oh, some curry sounds good right now. Thanks. Oh. Oh man, curry. Spoons down, you know we don't eat until everyone's at the table. Yeah, yeah. Looks like we're all here. Wait. Where is Izumi? Huh? Izumi chan still out? I don't know. Jiru, weren't you supposed to walk her home from school? I did. She was with me the whole time. To be clear, Shiro, you don't know where she is? Nope. I wonder where she went. It's fine, let's see you without her. Totally, I'm sure she's okay. What do we do, Uncle Kaz? We go find her. You can all go ahead and eat without us.
find Izumi. Infects the chair. Hmm. Where do you think Izumi Chan went? Hard to say for sure. I'll go take a look around outside. You check in the house, Haruka. Alright. You now have access to a hideout. Here you can save your game, move items to the item box, remnants, remnants, um, past events, and view your play stats. Furthermore, your health will recover while at a hideout. Huh. So we just come over here and... Oh. Oh, and we can see... Okay. Cool. Does that come in handy? Because I forgot to uh, get a screenshot for the... Whatchamacallit? Um, we're still in... Oh. Oh, it doesn't fill them all out. Okay. But I forgot to get a screenshot for the thumbnail for last episode, so... Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to do that off camera here shortly. I wonder what the name of this is. Fortunately, I cannot read. Morning Glory. Wait, does it say? Oh, Morning Glory Orphanage. Well, now we know the name of the orphanage. You can upgrade abilities. You know what, let's do that before we forget. Let's see, we'll do grab escape. Oh, okay. Oh, you can choose one of two things. Oh, okay. Good to know. Let's see. See if these people know anything. Evening there, Kiryu-san. How's that little scrap of land been treating you? Can't be too bad with that beat Trent you and all. <laughs> Sorry, my Yura-san. Not time for small talk right now. Have you seen Izumi? Izumi-chan? Can't say I have. Damn. Hmm. Have you checked down at the beach? I see you're staring at the ocean every now and again. Might be a good place to start. I'll do that. Thanks, my yours, John. No problem at all. I imagine she spends time reminiscing about her parents. She lost them at such a young age. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. No, that's probably you right there. I see shiny. But I don't claim shiny now. Yeah. Got a fish enchant magazine. Sorry, if I didn't grab that shiny now, I was going to forget. What's wrong, Izumi? You're usually the first one at the dinner table. I don't want to eat right now. What? Are you feeling okay? Something's definitely bothering her. Did something happen at school? Come on, Izumi. You can tell me. Hey, Uncle Kaz? What's up? Is not having parents... A bad thing? Huh? The other kids at school were making fun of me because I don't have a mom and dad. How'd that even get brought up? Well, bring your parents to school days pretty soon. Everyone started asking what I was going to do. Uh-huh. They, they said my parents can't come because they're dead. That's awful. Everyone knows I live here with you, Uncle Kaz. And if it's, it's not like I want you to pretend to be my dad or anything, but... But what, Izumi? You can tell me. It's really hard. Like, some of the other parents can't come because they're too busy. But no one makes fun of those kids. Why not? Why can't I just have a real family like everyone else? You do have a family, Izumi. Huh? Me, Haruka, and everyone else. I don't get it. Listen, families come in all shapes and sizes. Having a real 
mom and dad isn't what matters here. But what matters is you're surrounded by people who love you for who you are. But we're not related. Well, there's more to it than that. Related or not, you mean the world to all of us, and that alone is enough to make us family. And besides, I don't think your classmates were really making fun of you. Huh? They spent their whole lives with their moms and dads right by their side. They can't imagine it any other way. I'm sure they just don't realize how lonely life as an orphan can be. Then, they don't think I'm weird? That's right. If anything, I'd say they were genuinely concerned about you feeling lonely. I was an orphan too. I know just how hard it can be. Even so, I'll always think of the man who brought me up as my real dad. And the other kids from my orphanage, they're my siblings. There were all my time there. The idea of not having a real family never even crossed my mind. So you see, you have everything you could ever need right here at Morning Glory. Your family's just as real as any of the other kids at school. You don't need to be jealous of them. I'm not. It's just they say things sometimes. When they do, you can tell them this. I'm not alone. I have nine people in my family. Nine? Me, Haruka, and the others. That makes nine. We're a family, huh? I'll carry you. Okay. I'm gonna keep trying. Good. I know you'll never replace your actual dad. But since you've been like a daughter to me since the moment you walked in. Uncle Kaz. Izumi-chan, everyone's wondering where you've been. Let's go home, okay? There, there. No more tears. Ah. And it's curry tonight. Hope you save some room. Oh, carry you. Heart of gold and fist of steel. Everyone waited. You didn't eat. Of course not. Not without Izumi. Yeah, but now we're starving, so hurry up and sit down. Your plate's over here, Izumi-chan. Okay. Let's go, Uncle Kaz. I, we want to eat. Sorry. Alright, everyone ready? Let's eat. Kiri, you've done good. He agrees. He agrees. He's just like, yeah, I've done good. Six months later in March 2008. Uncle Kaz. We got another one. It says eviction notice. Are we getting kicked out? Those weird guys have been hanging out here a lot lately. Everyone's really scared. Let's go see what's up. Those were the guys from the hospital that we see later down the line, plus, slash, last episode. Uncle Cass, we don't have to leave, do we? 
Not if I can help it. I'm not about to let those guys kick us out of our home. They must be Ryodu family boys. That's who's been sending us those letters. One way or another, it's gonna have to stop. I can't have them scaring you guys. Maybe I should pay this Ryodu family a little visit. Don't worry, Haruka. I'm not planning on getting into any fights, even if they are Yakuza. Just be careful, Uncle Cass. I will. Be back tonight. Cool. It's definitely... I do have to say, this is... This is all kind of, like, throwing me off, because, like... This is the... First time... That we haven't been... In... Tamarocho... Or Sotenbori. So, like... Just staring out at a beach... In a Yakuza game... Kind of throwing me off, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, anyways, that's enough about that. I keep wanting to hit that to pull up the map again. Oh, I'm already missing the old controls. Downtown Ryoku from here. Okay. Yeah. Let's go see what's what this downtown is uh, all about. Huh. Different. The Ryodu family has got to be around here somewhere. Guess I should start by looking for those guys from before. Pretty sure they were driving a little blue truck. Not the map. Okay. Diner, Bisu Pond, Smile Burger, M Store, Drug Store, Quickly, Tea and Bulba. Ooh. Bulba sounds good too. Soba. Anything up here? No, I don't. This is gonna be. Gotta find that truck. Oh, this way. Alrighty, this is... What's with that ambient... car? I haven't seen you before. You in the business? This town ain't kind to strangers. I'll make sure you never forget about that. Okay. I thought you were gonna like full like hit your head and just kind of like arc. Damn you're a strong bastard. Sorry about that. You really be some sense into me. You get a sensible three thousand yen. What's with this weird ambit? Whoa! Where the hell did all the cars come from? This street was empty. That's interesting to say the least um we're gonna try something so i lowered down the graphics to high what is ultra gonna look like oh ultra Let's see what Ultra starts looking like. Ah, a little bit better on the eyes. You bastard, I saw you glaring at me. You looking for a fight, huh? Is this how street fights are gonna be now? For at least the next three games? Cause like, come on. Smack. 
I love how the cars actually like stop for the fight, even though I've kept it to the sidewalk. Already. Grab. Nope. Or not. Okay. Nice arc. Got a level out of that. Oh, wow. I actually messed up their glasses. Yeah. Guess you're looking for a fight. Here, this is all I got. Promising top quality charcoal. What'd that do? What's... Oh, I guess that's... I can't run further that way. Can I get a readjustment? Thank you. Light blue truck. Is that it up there? Wait. Hold on. Go. Okay. That's cool. It like plays a little jingle to like let people know when it's safe to cross. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a quick save just in case. Just in case. Nope. Nope. Got a hit, no. Yes. Okay. Hey, I was right. Mm-hmm. Now, where are they? Ugh. That seat's a freaking killer. Hey there, punks. It's him. You want something, old man? You two are in the Ryodu family, right? So what if we are? You boys make a habit of dishing out eviction notice to ordinary civilians? Civilian, huh? You're funny. I don't think we've ever seen a civilian with that kind of ink on his back. Either way. I can't keep scaring my kids. Listen here, old man. Or listen here, man. Ain't nobody we hate more than arrogant outsiders like you. Now get the hell out of Okinawa. That's why you're trying to evict me? Can't say. If you want to know the truth, you'll have to ask our boss. Just a sec there. Where do you think you're going? To the Ryudu office. Could use a chat with that boss of yours. Aniki, we've got a warrant. Doesn't have time to deal with petty shit like this. Our only job right now is keeping this guy in check. Sorry to say, I can't let you just stroll over to our office. How do you think that'd make me look, huh? Then what should I do? If you really want to see the boss, you're gonna have to beat me first. Huh? Is that it? No, no, you don't know who you're messing with, old man. The captain's not gonna go easy on you. Captain? You heard me. My Aniki here is a captain of the Ryodu family. The Fighting Viper. Oh. I run while you still can, asshole. Put a sock in it. What was that? Can I imagine this makes your family look too good? Don't try and talk your way out of this, you fucking coward. Might be a big shot down here in Okinawa. But do you think that'll scare me off? You're just a damn fool. Hold this for me. Well? Cute snake you got there. What did you say? It's not a snake. It's a goddamn viper. 
That's why they call me the Fighting Viper. Doesn't matter to me what it is. Well, it should. This thing's a symbol of an o Okinawa. Got the heart and soul of this island right on my damn back. Safe to say you like your hometown, then. Damn right. Uh, you know, I'm gonna show you what Okinawa's all about. Ikio, back off. This one's mine. Ready to rumble? Ready when you are. Okay. Rikia. See what you got. Come on. Ow. Come on. Off. Flip. Nope. Come on, carry him. I just realized. Um, he gauge rising kick. Ha health gauge, escape faster. Be knocked out when in heat mode. Okay. No. So not enough to. It's not just like A level. Come on. Nope. There we go. Come on. Pop. Definitely a game where I need to get into and with out more um, environmental stuff at least. Because there is not. Come on. A whole lot I can do to. No, I didn't. I wanted to try to grab him since he's guard. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Ah, uh, good thing. Okay. Come on. Block, grab, punch. Wait. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Come on. Nope. Not spam that button enough. Okay, come on. Can't get more than a real actual hit in we can't get like a nope nope come on it's just a game of block and dodge right now and just get some chip damage in those three hits were the most I've like gotten in out that's my knee you bastard come on then again I did choose hard mode how much harder it makes it than normal who knows um, let's go ahead and use that other stamina. There we go. There we go. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. I have not won a single one of those. Come on. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. Ow. Nope. Nope. Ow. 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 Okay. So we've we've learned. Okay. Okay. And that's how this is gonna be. We're gonna give this another go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Help. No, 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 counter, 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 counter. There we go. There we go. Come on, carry him. Why you don't let me counter that, I don't know. Come on. We figured it we figured it out. Come on. Nope. So, thinking maybe I could do a charge. Nope. There we go. Nope. Come on. Nope, not map. Come on, we're almost there. Come on, give me the... Come on. Okay, just, just a push down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. Come on, do a lot more damage to that. Come on, there we go.
Yeah. Snake Charmer. Shit. Hell she eats get that strong. Well. I may be mainland. And I may be old. But I still hit pretty hard, huh? Now that promise. I want you to take me to your boss. Alright. A deal's a deal. To the Rio Rio office we go. Come on, follow me. Sounds good. Yoko, run ahead and let the boss know we're coming. You got it, Anaki. Hey, I wanted to ask you about that tattoo you have. What about it? You said the Viper's the symbol of Okinawa, right? Why'd you have leave its eyes blank? Oh, well. I did. Tattoo guy ended up passing away before he could get all the finishing touch-ins, so I decided to leave it that way. Can't you get someone else to finish the job? I mean, I thought about it and all, but I don't know if some ra random other artist could do his work justice. Wouldn't really feel right, you know? I guess. With how important the Viper is, you gotta have someone who's real in tune with the soul of Okinawa. Haven't found any like that since my old guy died, though. Knowing Okinawa has nothing to do with it. The best tattoo artists know how uh, to best reflect a man's soul, no matter the theme. Master artists should be able, to, be able to do your Viper justice. Well then, I hope I can find one someday. The world's a big place. I'm sure you'll come across someone sooner or later. Yeah, you might be right. Anyway, we should get moving. The boss will be waiting for us. I was with you like a hee <laughs> What's what's with that walk? Okay, we're going this way. Oh, hi Rikia. Yeah. Where are you heading? Look like you're busting a dang gut over there, heh. <laughs> Just taking him to see the boss. That guy? Wow, he's built. Makes you look like a little kid with his tiny arms of yours, Rikia. Yeah? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Don't be like that. It was just a little joke. Hey, pal. You're not from around here, huh? Nope. But I've been on the island for almost a year now. Oh, a convert. How you like in Okinawa, friend? Probably never want to step foot on the mainland again, huh? <laughs> Listen, man, we're kind of in a hurry here, so... Alright, alright. Run along. Oh. Ask the boss if he wants to grab a drink tonight, will ya? Sure. See you later. Sorry about that. This way. Office is... They're in like a mall area? Our market. Ricky chan come say hello. Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry here. It's this guy who spends all his time singing on his tush. <laughs> Gosh, that's too funny. You and Miki-chan spend more time lounging around getting fat than actual work. <laughs> Come on, not in front of the guest. And what a guest he is. If only I were 20 years younger and a couple inches taller. Mm -hmm. Is that shit all you old ladies think about? Seriously, you're embarrassing me here. Anyway, you're that guy, get going. One sec, Riki chan. I just got some nice bitter melon in, so I'll hope you up a big old batch of Goya Champlo for you, uh, for you boys. Maybe you can bring it to, around to the office later. Can't hang around with the bitter. I can't hang with the bitter shit. You know that. Anyway, no time for to be standing around. We gotta go. Try bringing that can-do attitude to your work too. You and Miki chan can't keep goofing off all day. Sorry, she's kind of nosy. This way. Seems like the locals are on pretty good terms with it. Ryodu. 
Oh, there you are. Hey there, Mikio. Pop us aside. Yep. Get ready for our guest here. Oh, this is the Ryodu family office. Come on in. So let's get some answers. Right this way. After you. I'll go get the boss. It won't be a minute. Okay. So that's who got shot. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. The year who got shot by Kazu, yeah. Or Kazuma. So you're Kiryu san. Here you and Rikia had a little scuffle. There's something I want to ask you. Let me guess. The eviction notices. That's right. Why are you so intent on kicking us out? I need to know. Saki. Hey, Saki. We got grown up stuff to talk about. Mind taking it to your room for a bit? Who's the girl? My daughter. Name Saki. You have a daughter? Not by blood. I took her in. Uh, maybe three years ago now? Huh. How about those eviction notices? I'm listening. I'm real sorry to be doing this to you, but I don't have a ton of choice in the matter. And why is that? Well, families own the land you're sitting on for decades now. We built the houses over there ourselves and have been sub subletting them since. Now potential buyers come knocking. We're not planning on turning them down. Someone wants the land? Yep. So I'm gonna, it's going to be the site of some new fancy schmancy new resort. Hmm. What? You hadn't heard? This is my first time, yeah. Well, the word is they're going to plop a bigger resort on the land your little neighborhood's on. Either that or use it for a brand new American military base. It's been all over the news. That's why you're trying to evict us. Yep. I gotta admit, my feelings are kind of mixed on the whole shebang. Being Okinawa born and raised and all, but who am I to stand in the way of progress? So, what do you say? Think of it as a favor. Me and the rest of the Ryoto families will really owe you one. Look. Rikiyoya told me about the orphanage. Trust me. I know from Saki how hard it is raising kids that age can be. But you mainlanders are practically made of money, right? Can't you just take your kid somewhere else? If you really needed some extra cash, we might be able to spot you a little something. Well, not a bad deal, huh? I get where you're coming from. Great. Then we'll just... I'm not going. What do you mean? Everything you said makes sense. But you know... Only a safe, self-absorbed thug would think of it like that. Watch your tongue. I was Yakuza too, once. An expert at finding reasons to ruin other people's lives. If anything, I, if anything, I was too good at it. But that's no excuse. Do you realize what would happen to, to those kids if you got your way? So listen close. As so long as I'm around, my orphanage and everything in it is staying put. Understand? We're done here. 
bullshit we are. Don't you walk away. I might be an Okinawa own fart. But I'm gonna let some mainland punk talk to me like that. You get me? Are you sure this is what you want? Huh? If you kill me, my kids will have nowhere to, to turn. So tell me. Will that satisfy you? If you really love Okinawa, you should do what you can to help the island instead of trying to infect, infect innocent children. I'll fight you if need be. But you should know, I won't hold anything back. And he knows he's right. Huh. Would you look at that? We're on to another chapter. I feel like it's just a good stopping point to uh, do that then. Since we still don't have free reign anyways, we might as well just go chapter to chapter. So... I need to take a short little break before I record episode 3. So, this screen will stay up for a little longer. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying the story of Yakuza 3 so far, let me know with a comment and leave a like if you haven't already. Also, if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so that way you know when more Yakuza is heading your way. Um, hopefully the audio was sounded a little, you know, higher. You could hear a bit more. I upped it a little bit more from the last episode. Right now I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to find like the nice little balance. Because every game's going to be a little different. So while we do this, I'm going to try to go and see how it sounds. If it needs, sounds like it could be a little louder. Up the volume a little bit more. We'll see. I'd say, hey, let me know what it sounds like, but um, I'm currently 12 days away from the first episode even dropping, so um, this is going to be edited and uploaded long before you can give me, guys give me a chance to be like, oh hey, it's sounding kind of at, well, a little too late by then, I'm probably at least another week or two out. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time.